think I might piss some people off with this video. But that is not my goal. <laughs> my goal on this channel is to encourage and motivate and talk about how fun it is to study abroad, to learn another language. But I've been studying Korean for a long time, lived and studied in Korea for over two and a half years. I got some opinions. Now, before we get started, hi, hello, I'm Kieran. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please know I am not trying to piss you off. These are simply my opinions. And if your opinion differs, or maybe you have something to add on, I want to hear them. I really do want to hear them. So leave them in the comments below. Let's get started. We're going to start off with a bang. K-pop and K-dramas are not good motivation for learning Korean. Hold on! They are not good motivation for learning Korean. But I do believe that they are good tools for learning Korean. So what do I mean by that? Let me talk really quickly about my stint with learning Japanese. When I was younger, I had friends who introduced me to manga and anime, and through that I found my absolute favorite, favorite band of all time, Perfume. If you know me, you know I cannot go five minutes without mentioning this girl group. However, when I was studying Japanese, my only motivation to study Japanese was because of manga and anime and perfume. And when I finished an anime or when I lost interest in one or maybe perfume wasn't as active, my motivation for learning Japanese went right with it. However, when I was in high school, I met one of my best friends in the entire world who introduced me to the Korean language. Her Korean family taught me about the culture, the cuisine, and I fell in love with Korean because I was invested in my friend and her family. The culture, the history, the language, and the food, that doesn't go away. Now, if you're a huge K-pop fan, if you are a lover of K-dramas, I am not telling you to not learn Korean. Because if you haven't watched my video on my Korean study routine, first of all, go check it out. I think that it's very interesting. But you'll know if you've watched it that I use K-pop lyrics as a means of studying. I love to translate the songs line by line. And so if you do love listening to K-pop and if you do love to watch K-dramas, keep doing that. That is really going to help with your listening, your pronunciation. It's going to teach you vocabulary and different means of speaking. But find something about the Korean culture or the history that you are fascinated by because that's not going to change. And learning Korean is only going to further your understanding of that thing. Second, so for my second opinion, I want you to kind of follow along with me. I think that it's a little hard to put into words. But as an American, and I'm sure that a lot of other people who are American and maybe come from other English speaking countries, we can, we can sort of relate to this. You know, we've got to take a foreign language in high school. And I think, side opinion, here in America, we do a terrible, terrible job of introducing second languages to students. That's a whole other video. But you know what I did? I wrote English word, Latin word. English word, Latin word. I studied Latin in high school. This did nothing for me. In fact, when I started to study Korean, I did the same thing. English word, Korean word. English word, Korean word. But you know what that did? that created neural passages in my brain to associate a Korean word with an English word. So what was happening in my brain when I was trying to speak, when I was trying to write, or when I was listening to a song or a Korean drama? I had to mentally translate that word in my head. Korean people don't do that. Korean people hear a Korean word, and that thing appears right into their mind. Now, I don't believe that writing down an English word and a Korean word is the most effective means of studying vocabulary. And there are many times, unfortunately, that that's just something that you're going to have to do. However, I really find it helpful to draw pictures. Or if you have the Korean knowledge, 
try your hardest to write the definition in Korean because this is going to do something that is called dual coding. You are going to associate that Korean word with the picture. For instance, cat. Don't write cat, 고양이. Draw a picture of a cat. Or 확인하다, to check. If you can, write the definition in Korean. That is going to create passages in your mind that help to reinforce Korean knowledge in that native language of Korean. Really, really, really try to stay away from writing out English to better understand Korean. I hope that makes sense. It did nothing for me when I was studying Korean. I noticed my Korean advanced leaps and bounds. When I pushed myself, I took that little bit of extra time and effort to draw pictures or write definitions out in Korean. Suddenly, I wasn't thinking the Korean language in English. I was thinking the Korean language in Korean. My next one, mm, I'm gonna say it anyway. Teaching English in South Korea is not a good way to learn Korean. Now, teaching English in South Korea, it's time consuming, it's difficult, but most importantly, a lot of academies and schools do not want the teachers to speak Korean to their students. Why? You're supposed to be speaking in English to the students at all times so that they are truly immersed in English for the duration of their classes. So, there are fantastic programs out in Korea for English teachers to learn Korean. I highly recommend you go and sign up for those if you are an English teacher planning on being an English teacher and you want to learn Korean. But I'm going to tell you right now from my experience and from the experience of many of my English teaching friends in South Korea, Many of them came to Korea thinking, I'm going to pick up Korean like that, and it was not their experience at all. They were actually quite surprised by the lack of opportunities to listen and speak Korean in the workplace. If you plan on teaching English in South Korea, make sure to find something outside of teaching that is going to help to better your Korean. Now, my last opinion, I think, I get really, really, really mixed responses to my last opinion. So I'd be interested to see what you think of this. But I believe that living and studying in Seoul, South Korea is really overrated. Seoul is an amazing city. I love to go there to vacation, especially for a weekend. But honestly, the thought of living and studying in Seoul does nothing for me. I think Seoul is extremely crowded. It is extremely expensive, and there are many, many, many foreigners who live in Seoul, so the opportunities to default on English are abundant. Two of some of my best friends out in South Korea studied and lived in Seoul for a long time, and even though they were embedded in the Korean culture and every day they studied Korean, they found that honestly they used more English than they did Korean. Now I would not know because I've never lived in Seoul, but I can tell you just from vacationing there, I really, really, really do genuinely believe that this is true. There have been a number of times that I have gone to speak Korean to a store clerk or uh, I needed help, I would ask in Korean and I got responses in English. And as someone who lived and studied in Daegu, South Korea, very rarely would someone actually try to give me a response in English. But that was really a common occurrence up in Seoul. Maybe you have a different opinion, I don't know. And if you do, I would love to hear it. But these are just my simple <laughs> opinions about living in South Korea. Like I told you, I was not trying to offend anyone. I merely wanted to give you my opinions because uh, if I have some knowledge that I can share with you, I want to help. I really do. Because studying Korean is extremely rewarding, but it is difficult. And if we can help each other out, then great. 
Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. If you want to support the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. I know I've said this a million times throughout the video, but please leave your beliefs and opinions in the comment below. I always love to hear from other people. <sighs> and I'm going to go and enjoy this absolutely beautiful day. All right. Bye, everyone.